Namaste. My name is Krisha. I go to Prerna Shaka at Dallas East Vivag. So today I'll be telling a story that it's like really for like a kiddish. So I'll be telling a story about the big bad wolf and the seven goats. So one day there lived a mother goat. She had seven little children goats. They were having a really happy life and enjoying themselves at each time. So one day the mother was going to the forest to get some fruits and veggies. So this is what she told to her children. Oh my little children, I'll be going to the forest to get some fresh fruits and veggies. Now I'm telling you two rules because there's a big bad wolf out there. So I'm telling you two rules that would keep you safe from the big bad wolf. So the first rule was, so the first rule is recognize the wolf's voice. So you know it's going to be rough and big and loud. So, and then so then the second rule is that look down below the doors if it's gray feet it's the big bad wolf if it's white feet it's your mother it's me so that's why do those two rules if anyone knocks the door or if it's the big bad wolf so the children lived and listened really carefully to their mother the two rules So the mother left to the forest to get fruits and veggies. So then the big bad wolf came. He knew in that car- cottage in the forest there lived seven ghost um ghosts um uh, goats and one mother. But he, then he saw the mother going in the forest. So he had a perfect plan. So he knocked on the door and he said, "Oh, little goats, it's your mother. Let me come in." But then, really, the goats recognized the wolf's voice, and then they said, "Oh!" And one of them said, "Ow, oh, you little wolf! You, I'm we're not letting you inside our cottage. So we know you're the big bad wolf." The wolf got really mad, so he went to the bakery shop and he ate some chalk, so his voice could be soft like the mother. So he said, "Oh, my little children, come! Oh, let me come in!" So then the goats were almost about to open the door, but one said, "Wait!" One of them said. Remember, mother gave us two rules. The second rule was look underneath if the feet. So then they looked down, and they had they it showed gray feet. It was a wolf. So then he said, and one of them said, "Oh, you wolf! He won't let you in because he still know you are the big bad wolf." And then the wolf got really mad. So then he went to the bakery shop again to get some flour and put it down on his feet. So become it will be white as the mother goat. So then, um, um, he went back and he said, "Oh my little children, I got some fruits and veggies. Let me come in to bake some lovely dinner." So then they checked both things, and when they checked both things, they opened the door wide. But then it was a wolf. They all looked so frightened; their heart was beating. And then they had it all over and scattered all over the house. So. So the wolf said, "Oh, you little little goats! You didn't know that I was the mother. I am the big bad wolf, and I'll eat you all up by playing hide and seek and eat you all up while I find you." So then he went all around. He messed up all the furniture, and then he ate all the goats up. And then he went and relaxed by the tree. But then the mother came. Oh, my little ones! Where is everyone? She called each name out, but no one answered. Then she heard this little noise and said, "My, my mother!" Then she opened. It was the clock door and said, "Oh, my little one, where's all your siblings?" And then the goat cried and told the whole story. So the mother was crying too. So then they went to go check on the wolf, and the wolf, in their time, his tummy, he saw six. Things moving around, so the goats were still alive. The mother was happy and thanked God. So then she got a brilliant idea to get them out. So then 
she said, oh my little one, can you get me some scissors, some yarn and some stitching. So then the little goat did automatic, automatically what she said and came back. And the mother goat got six rocks. So then she cut the wolf's tummy and all the, all the six girls said, mommy, mommy, you saved the day, we're alive, we're alive. So then the mother said, shh, shh, now wake up the wolf, I still have more to do. So then she put six rocks that she collected inside the wolf's tummy. And then um, she stitched it back up. So then they hide in the bush and see what's going to happen. So the wolf woke up and he was walking to the river because he was thirsty. And he said, oh, have these goats became two rocks? So he walked and walked. And then... Um, he bent down, he was going forward, but he was about to slip, and he got back up. He did one more time, and then he slipped down into the river, and said, help, help, someone help me, I'm drowning, I'm drowning. No one heard him, no one helped him. So, he drowned it all the way inside the river. Boop, 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 boop. So, um, the goats all like, yay, yay, we get a happy ever after, finally, we can live our lives happily. So then the wolf wasn't the big bad wolf, wasn't there anymore, and everyone in the forest and even the seven goats lived happily ever after. The end. So, Danyavad, thank you for listening to the story I was talking about, Danyavad.